great out here. It's like 50 something, a little bit chilly, but not too bad. About to come down here to my barn. Glazed got cut, y'all. On her upper neck. It's not too bad. It's definitely something that's manageable. I don't know if she'll be rode for the next week or so just to give her that kind of break that she needs. Other than that, my horses are great. Before I do any of doctoring or anything like that, any riding, I'm going to give them hay. just finished up with it i need to bring my paper towels down here though to like clean up the leakage when it first happened and <clears throat> this is hydrogen peroxide that's bubbled up i need to wipe that away but for now i just have the actual cut covered in this more and i like to coat it so that she honestly can't mess with it <laughs> i'm gonna try out queen now i'm not sure how this is gonna go i tried to ride her last week she was still limping a little bit so we're just gonna go lunge her and see how she does she got hurt like the first week of January, basically. I'm actually not seeing a limp. I'm trying to watch her really good, but I'm not seeing one at the moment. We tried this last week and she was limping, but now I don't see it. Like the slight movement of her head, but it's not much at all. It's definitely getting better. I'm gonna keep lunging her for maybe 15, 20 minutes and see if, <laughs> see if, she feels better or if she's still moving a little bit awkward she's excited y'all if you can't tell last week it rained basically all week long i got to ride like monday and then tuesday through saturday it was storming this week is supposed to be better so hopefully i'll be able to have like a normal week get to ride and do all the things that i normally get to do well I'm seeing a little bit more choppiness, I would say, on this side. Just a little bit of that head bobble. It's way better than last week, though. Last week, it was like a noticeable limp. This week is more or less a limp, but it's just very slight. I got her sweating pretty good, and I still could see a slight limp. So I think what I'm going to do is not ride her today. Maybe try tomorrow and get on her for the first time. It just seemed like keeping that left lead was a little bit of a struggle. I think her muscles just need to be stretched out. So I'm going to try to lunge her every day this week and see how that works out for me. I just got out honey. I'm about to ride her. We're going to go check out the arena and see how that is. My dogs are barking. I don't know why. Here's May. be honest with y'all I have no idea how the arena is gonna be I'm kind of thinking there's no way it's gonna be good Cooper wants to say hey it's really windy out here though I've got homegirl saddled I have to be careful with her saddle because she is cinchy I'm taking my tripod with me today if I don't get to ride in the arena though it's kind of pointless but we are gonna go check it out and see if it's too wet I'm kind of thinking it's gonna be but no way and really tell until we get there my little round pen is fine and then I get out here in the field though to walk to the pasture and it's just like a mucky mucky mess. We've still got standing water in the field so I'm kind of thinking that you know what we're gonna be optimistic. I'm gonna say the arena is beautiful, dry, not too wet. It's not too bad out here so I do think we're gonna ride. <laughs> I tried to stay towards the upper end and it was honestly too wet to lip circles so I just jogged her for like 20 minutes tried to get her a good little workout in got her sweating pretty good my grooming bucket got ran over I got pretty girl post off I'm letting out the girls 
got my saddle ready to go ride jazz. I'm very excited for this thing coming up. I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and tell y'all what it is because by the time that this video is out, um, the video will already be out on TikTok, so y'all can go watch that if you want to. But I am promoting a movie. I've never done this before and I'm very excited. I seriously just got my golf cart stuck right there. Whoops. I can barely see Jazz, but I think she's right there. After walking half a mile, of course, I'm here. Let's get this girl groomed and saddled up. Finally got it out, but it's really, really puffy and staticky. It's just because it rained. Since I rode Honey in the arena, I think I'm gonna ride Jazz in the pasture and just maybe do walking and jogging out there. It's so stinking wet, but if it stays this warm and sunny, I think it'll dry out really nicely. Originally that I was gonna ride Lee, and now I'm thinking I might as well wait until tomorrow because it'll dry out more. And she gave me a run for my money on Friday. So it's Monday now, so that's been two days, two days between. And I'm kind of thinking if I just wait until the arena is a little bit more dry, I can lope some circles on her and not have this huge of an issue. I can just keep her continuously loping the circles. Wear her down enough to where she'll actually listen to me, maybe. I, it is wet out here, but I think I'm gonna let the horses out into the green pasture out here just because I want them to be able to stretch out and run a little bit. This weekend was raining, so they definitely didn't get to come out here. But since I'm not going to ride Lee, I'm just going to let them out in here to run around for about an hour or so before I have to put them up. Look at this little sweet girl. Hey, May. Hey, May girl. Just let them out there running around like crazy. They usually will like run around for 10, 15 minutes or so and then calm down and just graze. Less scoop stalls though. Had to replace my grooming bucket since he slap ran it over. It feels so good out here y'all. It's exciting after it was like 20, 30-ish last week. I'm hoping to get a lot of riding done this week. I'm not sure if there's a barrel race, but there possibly could be one. I generally find out about barrel races like two or three days before they're actually happening unless it's a big one. There is one at Perry this weekend, but I'm not sure if I'm running good enough to go really. I have to show you all these shoes I just got in the mail. I've been wanting the Tasman slippers, the Ugg ones. Cannot find the Ugg ones anywhere. I've looked, can't find them. I got these knockoff ones. Tell me they look so real. I got them off of Ego, I think it was called, and they're super comfortable. I wear a size five. I have really tiny feet. That's probably contributing to why I can't find these anywhere. The actual Ugg ones, super warm. My feet were sweating in these, but I'm excited to wear them. It's time to fix feed and put up the horses. just being so annoying not wanting to go into her stall. Uh-uh, go. good girl. I got them all up. They're all happy. And we'll put on blankets and give hay now. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. I just got everybody fed. It's quite chilly out here, but it's supposed to warm up a lot. I waited till a little bit later to feed the horses because I was getting ready. Me and my boyfriend are about to go eat breakfast. Of course, y'all, my boyfriend's late, but because of that, I stopped, got us some coffee. I got him a cold brew with sweet cream cold foam. His sweet cream cold foam is gonna be done by the time he gets here, honestly. And I got myself an iced coffee, just a regular one, because they were $2 for a medium one at Dunkin'. I'm about to bring these drinks 
into Cracker Barrel. I know that's annoying, but Cracker Barrel doesn't have iced coffee. Where are those people? I'm home from eating breakfast with Joe. I'm gonna go work for a little bit with my dad and brother since it's so cold outside. And when it starts warming up, then I'm gonna ride. Just changed my clothes. I have on this sweatshirt that says Georgia. It literally has stains on it from flaxseed oil, so that's great. And then I have on my Ariat jeans that are super worn and old. It is lunchtime, but I'm not really hungry since me and my boyfriend did go to Cracker Barrel like two, three hours. So I'm gonna see if I can work queen first, then possibly eat maybe. But first it's time to do hay. I'm gonna give all these girls some hay. y'all can see that too but I see like the slightest bit of, bit of a limp and it might be actually more than yesterday but I'm gonna keep jogging her for maybe 20 minutes and just see how she loosens up if she loosens up she definitely does need the exercise so this is good for her regardless and since that mu it's just a muscle injury moving is exceptionally good for her no ma'am No riding queen today, but she did get a nice little workout in. I put queen back into her stall. She's eating her hay chilling. And while she's finishing up that, I'm going to get out honey and lunge her for like 20 minutes. Just give her a nice little workout. I don't necessarily want to ride her today because I rode her pretty good yesterday. She got a nice sweat in. So today will just be a nice little lunging day. Pretty simple and easy for her. I'm just gonna do this for 20 minutes, 10 minutes on each side. I don't normally lunch honey, but I actually did find a show on Saturday, so I wanna get her as prepared as I possibly can. I have to go shut the gate from letting them out yesterday. I literally almost forgot y'all. That would have not been fun. Still haven't brought any paper da towels down here y'all. I'm really slacking. She honestly might be able to be rode tomorrow. She feels a lot better, I can tell. I'm gonna let that dry while I throw out a little bit of hay. Now it's time to let out all these girls. I am gonna come back down here and ride Lee in a little bit, but she is super easy to catch. She loves the camera, y'all. I'm not even kidding. Go on. But while I eat, I'm gonna just let them go outside and run around for a little bit. Someone's really enjoying the sunshine. They are. Just got back to the barn. It's time to ride Lee now. She's at the gate, so this is perfect. She probably heard her name, honestly. She's really funny like that. She'll come running if I just say Lee. She came up, no issues, and went into Ladybug stall. Since she was so awful to me the last time I rode her, which was Friday, I'm going to lunge her before I get on her. I normally wouldn't do this, but because she was so bad, I'm going to try to get some of her wildness out before I get on her or saddle her up, just in case she wants to act like that again. Y'all can't tell. She's looking at stuff, acting a fool. Trying to wear her down a little bit before I hop on her. Pretty sure the arena will be good enough to lope circles today, but we'll just have to see. She was so bad on Friday. She literally reared up on me super high over a windmill. We got over it, but it still was a problem. Her head is going down. It's about time to saddle her up. I say that, then she starts bucking after I ask her to lope. I got her saddled up. Now it's time for me to change my shoes. Got to change into my boots. It feels really good in the sunshine and then in the shade, it's sort of chilly. I'm gonna try to bring my tripod today too. Lee is the most nosy girl. She literally knocked my drink over and shoved dirt into my Stanley straw. Here's to hoping this is a smooth, 
fun ride. She's looking for a booger, really hardcore. Trying to keep her attention. This is just what it's like having youngins. I had to get off of her to open up a gate. I normally don't have to open up. I don't know what's going on. I'm riding, she's doing fine. I've never been here before though, where the cows were just bellowing and bellowing and bellowing. There they go again. And it's the most aggravating, annoying thing I've ever heard in my life. They will not stop. I don't know why they're doing this. They are not normally like this. She actually doesn't care too much, which I'm glad about, but it's weird. her off but my water hose is being blocked my next stop is my grandma's to work jazz I had to get the golf cart though and I need my saddle so got my saddle time to go I'd like to formally apologize for my hair I'm trying to keep it out of my face I'm also trying to like make sure it's sort of semi done I don't really like applying heat to my hair though so I just like to do what's easiest and keeps it out of my way She's of course on the other side of the pond and it looks like she's walking the other way from me. I just caught Jazz. There's a crane right there. After riding Lee in the arena, I'm kind of over the arena and I'm gonna ride Jazz out here. Just in the pasture, we're gonna mainly do jogging. It's still wet in the arena, like you can basically only use half of it right now. Just let her back out into the pasture. Had a really good ride. I've got to scoop my stalls. I'm getting my water filled up right now. I dumped out their water that was in their buckets and I'm just filling it up with clean water. I didn't like scrub the bottom, as y'all can probably tell. I'm putting up the last horse. Everyone else is up. Queen is being lazy. There she goes. Everything is done. I went ahead and put them up a little bit earlier just because A, I was down here. It's gonna be dark in like 20 minutes anyway, but it's my dad's birthday today, so we're gonna go eat supper and I didn't wanna miss that. I made myself a brown sugar shaking espresso without milk. It looks so similar to Starbucks, I'm not gonna lie. These two are up and at it this morning. I just gave them a treat. That's why I'm excited. I just got done working with my dad and I painted trim today and that was basically all I did for like three flipping hours. It was the most boring thing ever, but I had paint all over my face in my hair, everything. It's lunchtime now, but first I'm gonna give these girls hay. I think today I'm gonna skimp out on Lunging Queen because yesterday I felt like it didn't help at all. And honestly, I felt like she was limping worse at the end than she was the day before yesterday. And here's my little foxy lady, May. They're really loving the sunshine being out, but who's not? I'll be honest with y'all. I'm like snotty sinuses issues. I don't feel bad, but I'm just really tired. Definitely need a Celsius today. Hopefully this one will not make me tired like the one the other day did. Because I don't feel my best today, I am kind of going to take it a little bit slower than I normally would. I am going to ride Honey. I'm going to let Jazz rest today because she got road two times um, this week so far. I'm probably gonna ride Lee, and if I have time, I'm gonna see about Blaze, if I should ride her or not. Okay, I'm doctoring up Blaze right now with her neck. I don't even know if you can see it with how I have y'all, but she has decided she's scared of something. So, it is looking a little bit better, I will say, but I don't think I'm gonna ride her today. The only reason was because, like when I'm touching it, she's still acting really, really sensitive, and I'm not even touching it, I'm touching around it and it's obviously bothering her. 
I need to write myself a note to bring paper towels down here because I love to forget them. You know what? I think I'm gonna go grab paper towels. I thought I might be able to write her today, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I am gonna go grab paper towels though, so I can really get a good look at this. I made a trip up to the house just for paper towels. I'm gonna get this cut really, really clean, put Neosporin in it, then let them out and ride honey, I think. If disgusting things freak you out, skip ahead like 15 seconds. It is looking a little better. It's obviously closed up. It's just gonna take a little bit to do that last. And she is really, really bothered by it. Like I was trying to be as light as I possibly could while cleaning it, but she still is very sensitive around that area. Just got honey saddled up and we're heading to the arena. It feels so singing good out here. It did drizzle last night. Hopefully it didn't affect the arena too much. ride she's trying to prance easy that's one reason i really like going on trail rides with her it kind of sort of calms her down for the most part right now she's prancing like i'll oh, get out i like to spin them in a circle and make them like think about where their feet are going and make them walk i really want to hose her off right now but my dad has me blocked off to where i cannot get to my water hose That's the best I can do without actually hosing her off. I feel not my best, like I said. I'm trying to make sure I'm drinking water. I need to ride Lee. I'm gonna do that now. I'm not in the mood, honestly, but I need to get it done. It'll be fun once I actually get on it and it feels so nice outside. I'm just like drained and I have no idea why. owner we're walking to my grandma's or the arena and I'm thinking we might jog on the way over there but it's just so dang wet still good thing about me feeling bad is that I'm not willing to take any crap from her today I would love to work her around barrels but the arena is just too wet <laughs> actually doing exceptionally good today I don't know what it is but she is looking around but she's not like jumping she doesn't care too much really other than just looking around there's cows all the way around the arena another thing is white cows really get to them I don't know what it is I guess it's just the bright color or whatever and they seem to she seems to not care today about any of it so that's great we're walking home now after riding in the arena about 30 minutes or so I just got done with Lee and put her back in the pasture. I think I'm gonna let them all out into the big pasture just to run around and have a good time while I scoop their sauce. Here they all come booking it out. I got all my stalls cleaned this week, tomorrow, honestly. I need to clean my boots. Actually, let's go ahead and clean the boots. But I also need to go to Trotter Supply at some point, as well as the feed store. And I want to go to Goodwill too. But we'll do that sometime this week, either Thursday or Friday. <music> I'm literally so sad. I have to show y'all this. My jeans. These are like my favorite pair of their Kimes Lolas. They're just really comfortable, but I'll just rip that off and keep wearing them. The problem with putting them out into the big pasture is they never want to come up. And honey's the last one in, of course.
I'm officially dumb. I left the water on down here last night and it leaks. It didn't leak in the honey stall. It used to do that, so I'm glad that we're past that. But I still need to go turn it off. I got distracted when I went and grabbed my boots and decided I was gonna wash those. Last night I got to bed around 11. I probably went to sleep around 11, honestly. Since I didn't feel very good, I was trying to drink a lot of water and do things that I thought could make me better. And I let my sleep self sleep in for like five extra minutes. And I don't know how I got behind, but I did. I don't really care how this looks. I'm not doing it for a reason. Ready to go. Y'all, I look like I've been ran over. Now that I've got the majority of that off of my face and my hair, I think I feel much better. I don't know what it is right now, but I just ate lunch. I ate so much for me. So since Honey got a good workout yesterday with me riding her, I'm just gonna lunge her today, trying to get her worked out a little bit, condition some. I'm gonna let her just jog one way for 10 minutes, then the other way for 10 minutes. I was gonna lunge Queen, but I kind of felt like I wasn't making much progress. I might just wait and maybe lunge her tomorrow. Just finished 10 minutes of her going to the left. Now we're going 10 minutes to the right. I normally don't lunge Honey very often. I'm kind of feeling lazy today. My head kind of hurts, so it probably has to do with me um, feeling like I was fighting a cold yesterday. Also, I need to go to the feed store, so I probably don't have time to ride three. Just got Blaze's halter on her tied up. Here is how the cut looks. I need to clean it. I got it cleaned up, poured hydrogen peroxide on it. I'm gonna let it like air dry and then put Neosporin in it. I shoved so much Neosporin in there. Letting out everybody except Lee so I can ride her. There's so many things I need to get from the feed store today. Hopefully I remember them all. <laughs> Her saddled up, ready to go. We're just gonna trail ride to the arena like we have been doing. Cooper's coming with me, he's right behind me. to the house now I'll be honest with y'all if y'all saw her when I asked her to start loping her like little head shake her just like attitude I don't know where that came from it used to not be here it's been here for the past two days it's very aggravating and I really truly thought that today she wouldn't have it because yesterday she had it her little attitude whenever I was asking her to go from a jog to a lope and I worked her very hard expecting her to quit that hopefully I got it through her thick skull today to not be a little brat I was gonna go ride Jazz before going to the feed store and tractor supply and doing all my errands, but I think I'm gonna do that first because I don't wanna get caught in school traffic. I got some Starbucks. It is so good. I got a venti iced brown sugar oat milk espresso with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, six caramel syrups, and no cinnamon powder. That's a lot of words, but it's really good. Here's this if y'all wanna screenshot it or something. It's super good. Now I'm at Goodwill. Definitely don't need to be here. I just want to see what they have before I found seven jeans here. So I'm just going to be on the lookout. A lot of damage for my mom and my dad and my boyfriend, but I only got one thing. That literally took two seconds. I got everything in the trunk and the back seat. All right, I'm getting my saddle to ride Jazz. 
I'm going to get her. It's not too far today. Got my girl. little workout mainly jogging some loping scooped out their stalls and put the pelletized bedding in there I just fed them and put them up too I'm feeling real tired today but I still have some stuff to do I just realized honey's feet is on my golf cart so I'm gonna get that before I feed them good morning there's May I've got a flat tire but I have my feet down here now everyone is fed so today is a break day for me it's the day before a horse show sometimes I ride like younger ones or whatever but since Queen is hurt Blaze is hurt, and I rode leave for three days in a row. I'm not going to ride, I don't think, today. If I end up taking Lee to the barrel race tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is get up early and ride her beforehand and try to wear her down a little bit, just so she's calm. Also, when I do these week in my life videos, I have a lot of footage, like I'm talking about 400, 500 clips. I tried to get like one of my videos onto the slide and it said my disc was full so i started deleting a bunch of stuff and it didn't seem to help at all so i'm gonna have to figure out that today i'm getting ready to go i want to protect my hair today because yesterday i got paint all in it so i had to wash it last night and i really don't want to have to wash it again so i think what i'm going to do is put it in a low bun kind of tight ish and then wear my hood when I'm painting, if that's what I'm doing today. All right, let's go work with my dad. I'm done working. I managed to kind of keep it out of my hair, all the paint and everything, the best that I possibly could. Got some on my face though. I'm getting lunch for everyone now. Had to stop at the convenience store and get drinks for them. I'm not a Mountain Dew drinker. It literally gives me such a headache, but let's go get food now. I'm back home. I changed. Let's go let out the horses. I'm going to throw out their hay into the pasture instead of giving it to them in their stalls today because it feels so good out here. It's supposed to be a high of 70. If you know me, you know this is like my favorite thing in the world. I'm letting them out. Honey, of course, had to run wide open. I'm gonna get my horse boots before I forget them, y'all. Me and my friend are gonna go get Starbucks in an hour or two, but I'm gonna drink this Olipop right now because I want a little bit of energy. This probably has no caffeine in it whatsoever, but maybe I can trick my brain, you know how it is. This is strawberry vanilla. Let's try her out. I tried their fruit punch one, I liked it. I tried their cola one, did not like it. It tastes like vanilla. I'm trying to figure out what this tastes like. It's good. I do like it. I edited for like 30 minutes in the sun. It felt so nice. My computer's being such a pain in the butt though. So hopefully y'all will be seeing this on Monday like normal. Now it's time to go on a Starbucks run with my friend. I'm so excited. I really want a Starbucks. I want to put my computer in the trash can. I need a break. I just got back from Starbucks. I got what I got yesterday, the exact same thing. I'm scooping my stalls now. It's kind of been a little bit of a boring day, to be honest, but it's been nice just to kind of chill and enjoy myself, especially since I've been riding all week. I finished scooping my stalls. Pelletized bedding, seriously, will change your life if you don't do it. It took me probably five minutes to get five stalls scooped. Like, it was insane. Hey, y'all. Editing Cassie coming on here to end the vlog because I... 
of course, I forgot to end it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be on the lookout for new videos every single Monday. I love y'all so much. Thank you for all the support you've been giving me.